क्लिक द बेल आइकन टू गेट लेटेस्ट वीडियोस फ्रॉम ईकीडा हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अबाउट द टेंपरेचर इफेक्ट ऑन द पॉलीमर्स पॉलीमर्स आर एक्सट्रीमली हार्ड दे आर रफ एंड दे आर डैम सॉलिड नाउ व्हेन आई मीन दैट आई मीन दैट द स्ट्रक्चर्स ऑफ देम आर वेरी कॉम्प्लेक्स द ओनली थिंग दैट कैन हैव एन इफेक्ट ऑफ इट कैन बी टेंपरेचर एंड अगेन टेंपरेचर विल नॉट चेंज द केमिकल प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ इट बट टेंपरेचर मे चेंज द फिजिकल स्टेट ऑफ इट फॉर एनी अदर सॉलिड व्हेन इट्स हीटेड इट विल टर्न इनटू अ लिक्विड एंड देन इट टर्न्स इनटू गैशियस स्टेट बट पॉलीमर्स आर एक्सट्रीमली स्ट्रॉ when it comes to their structure so they do not have this solid liquid gaseous curve they have a different curve and this curve will be studied in today's session let us see the effect of temperature on polymers the hard and the brittle state of glassy state and soft flexible state is the viscoelastic state now there are two states which are defined over here for any normal substance the two states are solid and liquid but over here we have first state which is defined as the glassy state the second state is defined as the viscoelastic state now glassy state is the state wherein generally we will find all our polymers at room temperature they are hard they are and brittle so hard and brittle is considered to be the glassy state where they are generally been formed the another state is the soft flexible state also known as the viscoelastic state viscoelastic state happens or appears when you provide some kind of energy to that polymer generally this energy is in the form of heat that means increasing the temperature of the polymer leads to the formation of viscoelastic state from the glassy state a viscoelastic state of the polymer is heated further so now what happens over here we have discussed the first two states of it the first was the glassy state the second was the viscoelastic state but now after obtaining or after getting the viscoelastic state you heat it further you apply more heat to it you give more energy and rise the temperature of further and you get the third state of it the polymer becomes a viscous liquid and flows over your students it's very important for us to understand that the third state is the liquid state for all the normal substances the first state is solid state second state is liquid state and the third state is gaseous state but over here for polymers the first state is the glassy state the second state is the viscoelastic stage and the third stage is the viscous liquid stage also known as the flow stage that means over here the third state will be the state of liquid The first stage is the state of the solid that is my glassy state the third state is my liquid state then what exactly is my second state what is my viscoelastic viscoelastic is a semi solid kind of a substance which shows elasticity also shows some kind of solid structure that means at viscoelastic state there will be elasticity in my polymer there will also be a solid structure in my polymer the polymer will not flow the polymer will not stay rigid it's a state between the solid and the liquid state and that state is known as my viscoelastic state this is known as the visco fluid state over here they have just given a diagram over here i have the states first is glassy second is visco elastic state the third is viscous fluid state now when you are flowing from your to your or when you are moving from this direction that is my glassy direction to the visco fluid direction what happens is you are applying heat whenever you apply heat the glassy state will change to my visco elastic state the visco elastic state will change to my visco fluid state whenever you are removing heat removal of heat will change from this end to this end so what happens over here when visco elastic state is further cooled down it becomes my glassy state over here i have two temperatures this is my tg and my tm both these temperatures are very important tg is the temperature where the glassy state gets converted into visco elastic state we had melting points and boiling points in a normal solid liquid gaseous states in the same way instead of melting points and boiling points we have tg and tm tg is the temperature wherein the glassy state will go and get converted into visco elastic state and tm is the point wherein the visco elastic state will get converted into visco fluid state now let us see over here the examples of different polymers the tgs of them and the tms of them the first polymer is my polythene polythene is my normal most commonly used plastic 
we get polymer bags of it the polymer bags are extremely fragile you can easily break them off and tear them off why because they are not in the glassy state at room temperature they are at viscoelastic state so if i have a polythene bag of a plastic or a polythene which is extremely thin we can easily tear them off why can we tear them off because they are not glassy they are not brittle they are not very hard at room temperature polythene is at viscoelastic state so at what temperature it will get converted into a glassy state it is minus 125 degree celsius when i keep polythene at minus 125 degree celsius it will get converted into my proper glassy state what happens if i apply heat to it if i give heat to it at around 115 degree celsius the entire polythene will melt and it will become liquid same as with polypropylene now what is the difference between polyethylene and polypropylene if you see over here between polyethylene and polypropylene there is a difference of just one carbon ethylene is two carbons but propylene is three carbons but there is a vast difference between the tgs and tm values over here i have minus 125 for tg i over here i just have minus 18 for my tg and for my tm i have 115 and over here for tm i have 175 polystyrene polystyrene is nothing but my styrene molecule styrene is a benzene ring and on that benzene ring i have a c double bond c to get tg we have 100 degree celsius for tm we have 240 degree celsius polyvinyl chloride pvc it is one of the most commonly used plastic for making pipes which carries water for pvc i have tg as 80 and tm as 212 and finally we have polyacrylonitrile with tg as 97 and tm as 241 so over here in today's session we studied the effect of temperature on polymers we studied the three of the most basic states the first state was the glassy state second was viscoelastic and third was viscofluid we also had an idea about the tgs tms and different values for different polymers thank you so much for watching this video stay tuned to ekeda and subscribe to ekeda